quickly we are going to focus on migrating the azure devops repositories into github enterprise cloud so right now i have um, adivo git git repositories are there adivo to github is my repository so within this right now i'm going to migrate this into the github so in the github i have weekly icon ui is my organization so i'm planning to migrate this adivo repositories into the github enterprise cloud so for this i'm using the github enterprise uh, importer using that uh, i am able to push the my adivo repositories into the github so to migrate this adivo repositories into github enterprise cloud enterprise cloud so we need some prerequisites to migrate this one so for example we need our required permissions in both sites like adivo and uh, github side we need some necessary permissions to move the migrations here from here to there to create the brand new repository within the github organization so not only that we need some pat tokens in both sides like adivo side so if you go to the user profile and uh, you can generate the personal access token similarly if you go to the github and go to the user settings you can generate some pat token okay using those two uh, we can migrate the adivo repositories into the github Cloud. let's see uh, right now uh, to migrate for example here i am using the uh, in this adivo i am in between the work so i have one pr is open so this migration will uh, this github enterprise importer will help us to push the uh, most of the adivo or related active source code as well as some pull request comments and the history uh, all the things it can push into the github account so right now one pr is open and uh, i have two branches so whatever the stuff is there it will go and push into the in this github account so to migrate this process i'm using the um, uh, I'm using the like uh, um, API. We can proceed with GitHub CLI as well as GitHub APIs. We can use that and we can proceed that. We can migrate from here to there. So for this migration process, I'm using the Postman. So first of all, I will pull the, all the uh, my repositories in the uh, ADVO. So right now I'm passing the my ADVO pad token and I'm pulling the, all the um, my uh, repositories from the uh, my organization within the project. Whatever project I have, the, all the Git repositories I'm pulling from here. Let me hit the submit. So. I got the success code, so we, we get the list of repositories, but uh, right now I'm focusing on a specific repository like the Adivo to GitHub repository to proceed uh, uh, this migration. So right now I'm focusing on only for one specific uh, repo, so whenever you are permitting, uh, we, we can uh, iterate to each repository, we can migrate uh, on demand basis, and we can migrate at time all the repository list from one project, from entire project to the like organization, entire organization to organization, so we can migrate repository to repository migration, we can do it. So right now I'm focusing on repository to repository migration. Okay, I got the uh, result here, like I'm, getting, I'm getting the query, I'm getting all the repositories from the Adivo, this time I'm capturing this repository to migration. So let me go to the next one. So I'm using the GraphQL second step. Like first step, I'm pulling the other repositories from the ADO. So second step is like uh, we need to uh, using the uh, GitHub Enterprise Importer will help us to push the other ADO repositories from ADO to GitHub. So for this, I'm using the GraphQL GitHub GraphQL queries uh, to migrate from ADO to GitHub. So first we need to pull the. So right now if you go to the here right now I'm, I have V3 icon UI is my organization. So I generated my pad token. So I need to pull the this organization related uh, ID. Or I can say one ID or ID. So we need to pull that one. So here I'm passing the. Uh, this is the graphical query this, so here this is the uh, route authorization i'm passing the github token here this body is the um, query uh, login so which organization you're going to log in uh, so i'm passing the uh, login is the variable name so i'm passing the organization name here and pulling the, my organization id so whatever the organization we create this organization will ready and pulling from the this api so let me hit so i got a success code so this is my organization id so using this organization id so um i'm creating the migration source second step is like uh, pull, first step is pulling the all the organization id uh, second step is the uh, creating the migration source within the github side so migration source uh, we are creating here the migration source. So here uh, to create the migration store, source, uh, we can use the mutations like a create a migration source mutation. Uh, we can pass the uh, name of the migration source. So I'm giving the ADO post migration to GitHub and uh, owner ID. Owner ID nothing but here the variable name we are passing nothing but organization ID which is uh, capturing from here in this request. So this ID we are passing here. So migration source here, you know, like Azure DevOps, right? So we are passing the Azure DevOps here and uh, type is you know like Azure DevOps, right? So similarly GitHub to GitHub, GitHub to GitHub Cloud, we can migrate similarly. So right now I'm using the Azure DevOps. Similarly, if you are using Bitbucket means then as a Bitbucket. So just uh, I'm creating the I'm sending the post request. So uh, so it will generate the ID. Um, so just I'm capturing the migration source ID uh, to use in next step. Just hitting. So it's creating the migration source. So this is our migration source ID. So just I'm uh, I'm capturing this one. Just I'm passing to I'm setting this into the we have migration source ID. My global variable. I'm pressing here. So if you go to the next step, we created a migration source. Now we need to start the repository migration. So to start the repository migration, I'm using this mutation. Start the repository migration. So it's a required. Uh, this mutation requires some source ID, owner ID, source repository, and uh, whatever the brand new repository in the GitHub uh, and access token, GitHub access token, whether it's a public or private repository. So it's a uh, this mutation required. Uh, this start repository migration required these many good parameters. So we are passing source ID nothing but our GitHub migration source ID, which is executed here. This source ID we need to pass here. GitHub migration source ID. Similarly, owner ID nothing but organization ID, so which is uh, executed from here. This is organization ID. So source repository URL. So you know right. So here uh, ADO to GitHub URL. So whatever done. Now you are capturing here. I'm using the source repository. This time, I'm capturing the web URL, and uh, I'm holding here. This time, passing the my ADO source URL. Nothing but uh, if you go to the nothing but this URL, I'm passing like as you develop that org project with the ADO to GitHub. 
this is the repository name indicator uh, name of the repository which is going to create in the github organization within this organization uh, uh, whatever the name we are going to create the name of the repository we need to provide here area of github and providing here access token and this is area of pad token you can say we need to pass here here github pad token we need to pass so i'm going to create the private repository okay so once we, uh, this time we are passing all the inputs it will uh, generate the uh, migration id so based on this migration id uh, within this post request it will, it will generate the one id uh, based on that we can check the status of the migration of uh, Uh, this entire migration process so let me hit and submit it will take a couple of seconds yeah it's generated the migration id okay so uh, this uh, github uh, like uh, github enterprise import will take care of our request uh, from the github side and it will insert the migration request by taking all the input parameters right so we can based on this side we can check the status of the migration so to check the status of the migration just we are passing the id id means like the migration id uh, so source and uh, state uh, this migration source from name and id capturing so this is the migration id whatever we are passing here this we are capturing from the, the migration status we get it from there If you see, it's, it's in progress. So this is our migration source. So which is executed in this stage. So same source here. We are just uh, one more time. We are capturing all the data. This is a um, repository migration ID. So based on this ID, uh, we are capturing the status. So state indicates in progress. So right now our request is in progress. If you go to another GitHub account, just to refresh the page, you'll see ID of the GitHub is created. Now we we'll go and check the postman. It got succeed. So right now uh, I don't have much data in the Magida in this repository. So only two branches, one two one PR. That's it. There is no much files in this repository. Per percent. If you add in real time, you get the most of the so many files in the project. Right? So it will take a couple of uh, minutes to migrate. Sometimes it will take a couple of hours as well. So once you initiate this request, uh, um, better to stop the pushing the any code in the ADO side. We need to halt our work and start this migration process. So as part of this migration, if you got any error, we'll get the um, failure uh, with the uh, failure message. Why is it failure? We get the failure reason as okay. Uh, I think it was successful. If you go to your GitHub account, so you see uh, it's got uh, our new repository got created. If you open this repository. So you will see uh, two branches. One is master and develop. Um, in each case, you create the migration history. If you expand this one, you will get the entire uh, uh, migration history of uh, this entire process. We got failure, and it will, it will, we can see the logs from here. Okay. So I have one PR, right? So the PR is still open. So whatever the PR in the uh, same PR got created here. So whatever the comments I did, so whatever the files I changed, so everything. So this I added here. So same thing, uh, same data will be migrated from uh, Adobe to GitHub. So like this, we can um, migrate the uh, Adobe, Adobe to GitHub by using the um, A GitHub um, enterprise uh, importer using that GitHub enterprise importer using that you can do the migration. Uh, it will take care of the GitHub side of the request and it will process. So mostly at a time five repositories we can process uh, concurrently. So so there is a uh, limitation as well. So we need to make sure no need to once migration is request is initiated no need to commit any changes in the source repository. We need to hold our work and start the migration. Once migration is done we can ask uh, I mean we can log the source repositories to commit the, to prevent the commits from XYZ persons. So the, uh, to to my, uh, these are my global variables. What are the things I'm using as part of this migration? Uh, this uh, postman collection. Yeah, that's it.